What's up? How's it going? Happy Friday, everybody. Do you guys remember when it used to be a joke to go like flip burgers for a living? Like when your parents or your friends would say, you know, oh, you're not going to go to college or go to school. What are you going to do? Flip burgers for a living? Well, we're getting to the point <laughs> where those sorts of jobs are paying more than jobs that you have to go to school for. Or you can make burgers also uh, $13.50 an hour. Mm. I hear that they have really good work environment. Do you remember when making burgers used to be a meme? Like, I'll just go flip burgers for a living. It's paying more than what jobs you do actually for a living pay. Here's an example. It says intern entry level web developer. If we scroll down to the bottom, it's $9 an hour. So as you saw, in and out pays more than that. A lot of you might be like, well, they can outsource that job, but they can't outsource flipping burgers. Well, if you come down here, you look, they're not outsourcing it. There's no visa sponsors. You have to commute to work, which is another thing that blows my mind about development jobs. You shouldn't have to come to an office. Like maybe it could be optional, but you shouldn't have to. Background verification required contract position. So you're making $9 an hour as contract. So you're going to have to pay 15.3% self-employment tax and then income tax after that on your $9 an hour. Now, the only difference between an intern and an entry-level developer is the pay and how long you stay at the job. Because when it comes to knowledge and practical ability, nobody knows what they're doing. The company's gonna have to train you on everything that you need to be able to do to get work done in a productive manner at their company, using a title to pay you less money. Here's another one at the same company, junior PHP developer, hourly rate $13, to $16, so you're never gonna get the upper end or the lower end, so you'll probably get $14.50, which is a dollar more than in and out pays. Uh, benefits, insurance after three months of full-time employment, five paid holidays after six months of full-time, so you don't get vacation unless you work at this company for half a year. Oh, that, I'm wrong. You don't even get to take holidays. So like, um, if you show up at the company and it's Christmas, well, you're working Christmas if you haven't been there six months. Because you don't actually get vacation until you've been at the company <laughs> one year. Are you are you for real? I'm just trying to show you guys red flags of what to look out for. Um, companies that are just paying way, way, way low. And, you know, they do this because people accept it, right? But I'm telling you that you you can get other things that pay more that aren't as strict. For Like, example, like here we have entry level .NET developer one. This is entry level. Same thing as intern. Same thing as junior. If we scroll down... We can see they want to pay 27 to 32 dollars an hour you're also contract you're doing your own taxes and stuff but you can business expense so but look at the difference here i mean this is what i would expect for an entry-level dev just something kind of vague something kind of general anything that starts to bullet point every single thing as a benefit or a requirement those jobs i kind of stay away from let me show you what i mean here's a canadian company and uh, they have skills whatever this is for a front-end developer and we come down to the bottom their benefits are casual dress and on-site parking. I don't think being able to wear jeans to an office as a web developer is a benefit or a perk in any capacity. The, the fact is like you shouldn't even have to go to the office, which again, this company wants you to come to the office, can't work remote. On-site parking, that I don't really think that's a benefit because you shouldn't have to drive to work to do this job right now. And then some people in the comments say, at least they don't have to pay for parking every day. And um, I would say to you that it's time to get a new job. So I, I don't think that these are benefits. This company's really reaching here. Here's one that pays the exact same as flipping burgers the pay is twelve dollars to fifteen dollars an hour you're never going to get the upper end you're never going to get the lower end you're probably going to get thirteen dollars and fifty cents an hour which is the exact same as flipping burgers pays so these bullet points are auto generated by indeed a good job for someone just entering the workforce or returning to the workforce with limited experience in education this bullet point right here is kind of a red flag it's basically them saying we're willing to take just about anyone because we're not going to pay you any money so put this bullet point and it makes it sound nice a job for which all ages including older job seekers are encouraged to apply as opposed to what not older job seekers and wouldn't that just be ageism open to applicants who do not have a college diploma it's a entry-level developer job actively reviewed candidates three days ago you see what i mean like people actually apply to these jobs and i i get it dude i get it we got bills you got to get a job to pay the bills just trying to stay afloat like i understand but there are other companies out there like this one which will pay you way more money here's a front end developer intern in canada tech wrangle who comes up with these business names wrangling in the unpaid interns okay so responsibilities determines the structure and design of tech wrangle services web designs 
You shouldn't be doing that as an intern. That's like way above your pay grade, but you're not getting a pay grade anyways. Ensures user experience is considered when determining design choices. You're not doing the design. The UI UX person is doing the design. Develops features to enhance the Tech Wrangle products per user experience. You're not doing the user experience. The user experience person is doing the user experience. Ensuring Tech Wrangle web design is optimized for use with smartphones. That's probably the only thing. Requirements must have experience. You're a front end developer intern why would you have experience and then apply for an intern job here's the benefit section which is this is going to make you laugh a lot of opportunities to grow in the company and develop skills you will gain hands-on experience in a positive and flexible learning environment exposure to experience within the tech industry flexible hours you're not being paid so in my mind it, it, this job is as flexible as you want it to be they tell you to do something i mean you'd be like now nah, i'm gonna do something else because they're not paying you right like Make your own choices. A lot of opportunities to grow what? To a paycheck? Exposure to experience within the tech industry. I mean, you can get that by watching videos about the tech industry. Exposure doesn't pay the bills. And you know what's funny? Is that this internship position actually filled up. They're no longer accepting applications. And here's something that's even more hilarious. The person recruiting for this internship position is a human resources intern. So it kind of looks like tech wrangle here is a company full of interns. Stop applying to this. Stop giving these companies validation. People will pay you to work. People will pay you to learn at the job. People will pay you for potential. Go to those places. If you wanna work for free, do it for yourself. Make your own portfolio. As I've started to make these videos, people start linking me unpaid everything. And I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna roast that. And here's an example of what I mean. Like this is a volunteer 3D modeler team lead, no compensation. They're very upfront. They're using the word volunteer 3D modeler, no compensation. It doesn't say internship. And then at the bottom it says no pay. It says volunteer, which is really what unpaid interns are anyways. But they highlighted this and they said, look at that. Look at what they're requiring. Able to donate again, implying volunteer, five to 10 hours a week for 12 months, minimum two years of team lead experience. It's a volunteer position. I'm not going to roast volunteer positions, so stop sending me volunteer positions. Um, they're upfront about it, and I have no problem with this. I just have a problem when companies make free work seem like the greatest opportunity of all time, when they're probably just going to not hire you at the end of the internship and get another intern to pick up where you left off. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video and appreciate the tips, do me a solid. Click that thumbs up button, click subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to see more job red flags and corporate stuff. Um, currently, you can see how my corporation is running. My intern is over here playing games on the clock. You're not supposed to show this. <laughs> how's that, how's that uh, enlisted? We're, we're doing okay. Have a good weekend, guys. See you in the next one.